The entire concept of the law of attraction also has a small amount of detraction. These are some things that people's logical minds cannot accept freely. An inspired action is a crucial aspect of this whole affair. When someone takes inspired action in his stride, he prefers to do it wholeheartedly since he has a strong intuition to choose this path. It is not just a modest step, it is a quantum leap toward meeting the individual goal. There is a remarkable distinction between taking action to create inspired action, which involves moving with the already flowing energy. The key is to notice when someone attempts to force things to happen, rather than allowing them to occur naturally. It has the thrill of a competitive game. Some individuals enjoy a good time. They are utilizing universal energy. People can accomplish a lot more in a brief period. Things just seem to fall into place. Even stronger than the law of attraction, a law governs the conscious formation of reality. It is the law of inspired action. It opens a secret that is virtually not a secret. Human beings are acting at the peak point of all material things. It is the level of spirit when one uses the law of inspired action. This supreme level governs all other levels. People are not trying to create anything when they use this superior power. They are, rather, letting the universe create things through them. Individuals are simply collaborating with God to create something new. According to the law of inspired action, God is the one who is operating through men. As a result, there is nothing left for men to do but to let the Almighty do everything through His devotees. It does not mean, however, people should refrain from taking action. It just implies they should not do those actions that their inner self does not drive. Individuals are pushing action when they try to do things that do not have inspirational traits. Non-doing action is the path of inspired action. It is allowing oneself to do such things that one wants to do with an open mind. When people are trying to materialize things and use the energy to fuel the building process, Using the law of attraction alone can be challenging. When one believes he has to attract things, he implies that they exist outside the human boundary. However, everything one desires is already within him and is only waiting to be opened. All the things people desire will appear in optimal time when the path is pursued with universal guidance. When one follows the law of inspired action, he will unconsciously employ the law of attraction to pull everything needed into the self-environment at all times. It's because the universe has drawn a strategy for mankind, and if they follow it, they can line their activities with the divine flow of thoughts and events. People will discover that they are doing the right thing at the right moment at the right place. It happens with all of the opportunities and resources already in place. People just walk right in. A few individuals fail to manifest what they want when they employ the law of attraction. However, it is not because the law doesn't work. The law of attraction is always at work, but owing to a mismatch of intentions, people cannot reap the benefits as per their wishes. They have complete freedom to materialize whatever they want as long as they follow the greater plan of things. After all, one does have individual awareness. Mankind comprises a collective whole that includes the entire universe together with human self-consciousness. The true personal identity is the divine spirit that combines God's spirit, which exists in the universe. One willingly chooses to split a piece of self-consciousness and manifest it into this divine domain for a specific purpose. The lower self of human existence is the conscious layer that is present on earth. From moment to moment, the superior self directs all that is meant to perform through one's true heart's desire. Things don't materialize when there is a conflict of intentions between two dimensions of a person. The physical existence and the higher self are the same things with different interpretations. All people need to do now is align themselves with their higher selves. When they are in tune with the universe, 
they are supposed to be at peace. They will experience the seamless manifestation of all their inner aspirations at every stage in life. The real reason that a few of the wishes don't reflect is that they are not desires of the inner self. Also, these wishes are not supposed to happen right now. People will experience instant fulfillment of desires when correct applications reflect at the appropriate time. One may create the truth of its non-existence every time he sets intent to design something. Why would anyone need to develop it if it was already there? Here, the law of attraction appears to falter, but it is not the fact. This contention is that while people are attracting the existence of what they are longing for, they are also drawing the non-existence on the flip side of the same intent. So the duality of intention has to be religiously avoided. People put themselves in a condition of consciousness where they already have everything they need. Besides, there is nothing else for them to do or accomplish. Then, whatever cravings originate from the region of non-desire, they are simply desires of the soul. People no longer attempt to desire anything. Instead, they encourage the universe's intentions to flow through them. A person living at the greatest level creates a position of nothingness with whatever resources are required at that juncture. The most critical thing is to live life with solid intent. Further, every purpose should flow spontaneously from there. One should allow the universe to create desires through human beings rather than master the creative techniques to materialize. So why do individuals study reality generation tactics in the first place? Its purpose is to make them aware of how it designs the reality concept to better align with the universe. It begins at the top level and works its way down, rather than vice versa. Allowing things to take their natural course is the key to mastering the world. One cannot dominate the world by altering the natural order of things. In every instant, the law of inspired action has to move with the flow. People should connect to the identification of who they truly are. It is the strength and existence of God as the devotees follow their hearts in every phase of life. Non-doing action or doing activities are the finest actions to perform. People are carrying out God's will. The law of inspired action is the supreme level of creation. The Law of Inspired Action a detailed interpretation. The law of inspired action states that if people want to achieve something on the planet, they must take action. Human beings are physical entities on a physical planet, and to manifest, they must take appropriate action. Thoughts and imagery are actions, but physical activity is usually required as well. When individuals are inspired to do anything, they must act while the inspiration is still vivid in their minds. All individuals have occasions when they desire or require something. To illustrate, if a person is hungry, they usually go to the grocery, cook the food, and then eat it, or alternately go to a restaurant. Whatever the case may be, a person must act. However, that is not exactly inspired action. An inspired action is characterized by intensity and passion. When people want something or aspire to establish a goal for themselves, they will receive advice. That direction will often demand them to take inspired action, which is usually physical activity. It could be a large or little step. Each step, no matter how big or small, brings them closer to the goal. When somebody is inspired to write an article, deliver a lecture, publish a book, host a seminar, or lead a workshop, he or she is filled with enthusiasm and passion in seeing the project through. The individual needs to act while the energy is still there, because the passion and energy for the project would ultimately fade away with passing time. Not completely, but the degree of energy will be quite less. However, with more quantum of activity, the greater will be the amount of inspiration and enthusiasm. The term enthusiasm connotes a high sense of passion. Again, the word enthusiasm is derived from the word ethnos, which means inspired by God. 
Many sources can provide guidance signaling the necessity for inspired action. One might have a gut feeling about something one should do. Also, he may receive guidance during a discussion or overhear a talk and gain insight. The most critical functions and vibrations that people send out determine their success with manifesting via the law of attraction. A majority of individuals are aware of the fact that having positive thinking leads to positive outcomes. However, it gets a little deeper. Another part of manifestation is equally vital, but frequently disregarded. And that is what is involves taking inspired action. Because as potent and unlimited as the law of attraction is, it is nevertheless subject to the physical laws of cause and effect. One may need to take action to make several things physically attainable to manifest them. For instance, one could try for years to materialize lottery winnings, but winning the lottery will be unlikely unless he first executes the actual action of purchasing a lottery ticket. Perhaps the individual is looking for a partner, but he does not put in that much effort to meet a new group of companions. It will be a tricky proposition to bring someone wonderful into one's life. The universe is more than capable of manifesting itself without human support. Miracles can take place, and one can surely attract without exerting any substantial effort. On the other hand, the universe will be forced to make larger alterations in human life, which will inevitably lengthen the process. There will be more pressure to maintain a positive mental condition, because there will be less room for negative thoughts. By acting, one will considerably reduce the strain to have a positive mindset, making the entire process much smoother. While men should act, but they just do not want to take any action without reason. People would like to take a specific action that's full of possibility and great intent. An inspired action is a term for this type of behavior. When the universe inspires mankind to do anything, it is no longer just a physical action. It's an act inspired by a supreme power that can practically drag one toward his coveted goal. The universe is aware of all the innumerable variables that go into fulfilling human wishes. This cognition is beyond human comprehension and thinking, and once accessed, it will allow anyone to achieve what they desire. People can work simultaneously together with the universe to achieve preset objectives. Inspired actions are motivated by the boundless wealth that each individual possesses. The inspired actions will not just always guide individuals to the best possible outcome. However, they will be able to overcome the most critical obstacles, preventing them from realizing the permissible goals. Actions Inspired by the Universe the inspired actions have unique qualities that set them apart from other ego-driven conducts. Unlike a majority of other activities, they stem from an abode of inspiration and enthusiasm. Therefore, no matter what they are, they will always feel like doing the perfect thing. When people are doing something similar to this, they will not be concerned about whether they are doing something that the universe has inspired. Instead, they will just presume it's the best decision in the circumstances. Actions Leading to Satisfaction The most important thing to remember about inspired actions is that they will make people feel wonderful. They will feel as if they are making significant progress toward their pre-decided targets. However, an individual will not necessarily feel elated while repeating the actions because the universe more or less requires him to perform painful acts to bring about what he has asked for. Still, no matter how challenging the action is, people will always enjoy taking it, and it will always seem appropriate. There will be no opposition to these inspired actions, and people will almost assured of making the right move forward. Actions Leading to Moral Obligations People always know how they get that sensation when they will do something they think is morally unacceptable. That nagging thought is in the back of one's mind. It is usually what a tinge of conscience feels like. Most individuals will be able to detect the inner drive to take inspired action if they understand the moral values of action. That's because it's a similar emotion. However, instead of remorse and reluctance to do something bad, 
It's an inner urge to act with inspiration. Keeping away from ego-based actions. The ego has a role in the human psyche. It serves a variety of purposes, one of which is to keep a human sense of self-identity intact. People won't have much of a sense of identity without self-ego. However, the ego has its motivations, including the desire to be recognized, appreciated, or prevail over. These psychic interests are founded on lower levels of consciousness, such as desperation and anxiety are rarely beneficial to manifestation activities. As a result, one should be careful not to confuse egoic activities with inspired actions. The best method to do it is to take a moment to reflect and ask oneself why they are doing it before attempting anything. One can rest assured it is an ego-based action if one has largely to meet an egoic demand, such as making one feel better about him. Additionally, people will not like and they may even experience negative feeling such as embarrassment. Inconvenience to take inspired actions Even while doing activities that are inspired by the universe, people may have difficulties carrying them through. So one should not reject an action by considering it ego-driven merely because it appears to be tough. If one digs a little deeper, he will discover these are only apparently difficult. Mental constraints, such as fear or a lack of self-confidence, are the most typical causes of trouble. Similarly, inspired actions often necessitate stepping outside of one's comfort zone and doing things one would otherwise avoid. The Law of Inspired Action The Role of Conviction and Determination People should not let their concerns keep them back. They should take some time to build up their confidence so that they can achieve what is required. It will feel like a tremendous triumph when people eventually dare to do it. Therefore, they should summon all their willpower and push themselves to complete the task at hand, and the universe will reward them for this exceptional act. In the long run, the effect of an activity, whatever it may be, is insignificant people should not worry about what happens right after they act. The eventual aim of these divinely motivated inspirational actions is to manifest the primary human desires. So, one should envision the larger picture that lies ahead. An individual is actually bringing himself closer to the sense of affection he deserves, which he is unaware of. The rejection is just one component of the universe's plan to offer people exactly what they want in the long run. People may overlook the impact of the decision in terms of inspired action right now. However, it will eventually lead them closer to what they desire. Therefore, one should not be afraid of trusting his instincts, regardless of what logic says. As long as the inspired action is motivated by the universe, the potential events will automatically be set in motion. It will finally bring about people's dreams to fruition. The results will always be known, because people will have a strong gut feeling that it is the proper way to accomplish things. One should do his best to maintain faith and conviction with minimum attachment to the proceedings throughout the process. On the surface, inspired activities may appear to make hardly any logical sense. This is because they are sensitive by nature and can only be detected by human intuition. They go beyond logical thinking and narrow thought process. People should not get frustrated before making any significant decisions. They should always judge things carefully and weigh all options. However, gut feelings are the most reliable indicators of the best course of action. The law of attraction is supposed to work along with human thoughts emitting vibrations that the universe takes up and gives back to the human clan in the shape of attraction. But has anyone understood that it is true in both directions? The human mind can also receive the signs and instructions generated by the universe. So again, people will have an intuition to do something when they get heavenly guidance through precise intuition. The universe wherein people live is truly very rich in natural resources. If people know how to unearth these resources, everyone can enjoy the wealth, 
happiness, respect, and success that they bring along with them. This natural flow of riches is stifled by the existence of negativity in the individual and collective psyche. However, the reality remains that the universe is organized by nature to bring people success and contentment. As a result, it's only logical that the law of inspired action could take you in the right direction. It's all about being able to comprehend the essence. Human minds do have an inherent ability to detect the signals gifted to them by the universe. This capacity comes naturally to mankind, but it can be enhanced with the use of specific procedures. As one can observe, the capacity to take inspired action largely depends on individual ability to trust self-intuition. While cultivating intuition is a significant commitment within the human mind, humans simply need to develop fundamental intuition to perceive the signals emitted from the universe. All people have to do is pay sincere attention to their instincts any time they decide to accomplish their goals. Man will be able to experience his intuition even in the smallest part of decision-making. It has the feel of intuition and a desire to make a specific conclusion. People will find it much better to isolate that emotion when trying to manifest and attract greater things if they can identify it in simple details. What would individual life be like if some individuals were inspired to do the bulk of their inspired actions? People would probably make all the ideal decisions and repeat the majority of the right stuff. Consequently, success would follow them like a shadow. Besides, if one can approach the source of all his behaviors, possibly his subconscious mind and assumptions, he can just do that. Most actions one takes in his daily chores are subconscious if one can think deeply. Humans often act without thinking, and even when they do consider things before acting, their ideas and decisions are primarily influenced by their inner thoughts and beliefs. In reality, one can unintentionally begin performing activities that are inspired by the universe. But to do so, he must have the appropriate beliefs and thought patterns implanted in his ever-changing mind. When the inner self is in sync with the relevant aims and universal traits, the actions will undoubtedly lead one closer to predefined objectives. How can people identify the subconscious mind to operate in their favor now that they have established it as the primary course of action? If people are unfamiliar with subliminal audio types, use subliminal messaging to modify subconscious thinking. These are quite effective and one of the finest methods to make human behaviors more positive and purposeful. People utilize them greatly, and it has been proven that it may enhance the current level of achievement by its continuous application. Instant Manifestation Secrets is a program that many people have used and found to be incredibly effective in teaching good thoughts and thinking patterns into the subconscious mind. It is effortless to use and only requires 15 to 20 minutes of daily listening to audio tracks. The audio tracks feature a complex mix of brainwave frequencies and instructions that will rewind the subconscious for prosperity and success. Generosity isn't just about outward appearances. People can practice it both mentally and emotionally in plenty of ways. One can mentally convey blessings to the couples they know and observe the results rather than resenting them as people usually do. This sends a message to the subconscious mind that people are capable and deserving of taking inspired actions. It will surely give people a much stronger sense of intuition, allowing the universe to convey the best options more easily. As one can feel, taking inspired action is a massive component of manifesting success. If people can put these into practice, they can attract what they desire more effortlessly and quickly. Now they can do it in no time if they just follow the recommendations to the best of their abilities. Inspired Action and Their Types People frequently discuss the importance of vision and focus in realizing human aspirations in terms of seamless success. Also, people are often eager to take action, and it is always worth taking action, even mega-action. 
However, the action only works when it comes from a position of clarity and vision. That is why, before taking action, one must address the inner concerns. Otherwise, people will most likely be acting from noticing what is on the missing list. Allowing the action to take a temporary back seat can be a difficult proposition. When it comes to the degree and sort of outcomes, people are said to be taking inspired action. It is assumed that it'll be worth it. What do people mean when they say inspired action versus action motivated by scarcity, skepticism, or disappointment? When people take the time to concentrate, they will arrive at a superior level of creativity, faith, and insight, which will inspire them to take action. Inspired action often appears out of nowhere. People get a push to attempt something new. It's possible that it didn't make any sense in the past. Nonetheless, the inspired action invariably results in a favorable outcome. For instance, People know they want to bring in more business and work with people they enjoy working with. So they assess this concept for a while because they have no idea how to make it a reality. A name comes to mind at some time. Perhaps it's someone they haven't given a thought to in a long time, or someone they don't know enough. The intuition says to get in touch with this individual. So one takes the plunge and contacts them and that is exactly the person who can teach him how to attract more potential customers. Perhaps they've just started a new program on the very topic people are looking for. They will probably get the early bird rate. That's a brilliant move, and it is that much better than being frustrated, because people may not know how to make the dream a reality. People must first have an inspired thought before they can take inspired action. How can one tell if it's a brilliant concept or a mundane one? People have a strong desire to do something. It's an instinct or gut feeling. The inspired idea will elicit strong emotions, which are often pleasant. People may not understand why they are being directed to do something, but it makes logical, and they feel compelled to do it. It's a spur-of-the-moment decision rather than a calculated one. Instead of coming from the head, it comes straight from the heart. People already know that acting on this brilliant idea will make them happy. The law of attraction is not a mystical force. All approaches such as visualization, vision boards, hypnosis, and affirmations can be used. Human objectives and desires will not come true until action is taken, preferably inspired action. Ideas, indications, and messages will come from the universe and one's subconscious mind. People might be able to draw new companions, situations, and opportunities into their life. They might have a revelation. It is a profound and unexpected insight. However, it is doubtful that people's lives will change unless they act on these notions, events, and possibilities. Action Types there are mainly three different types of actions. These are inspired action, neutral action, and forced action. All of them are beneficial. Inspired action, on the other hand, is always the best. It's the ultimate goal of getting things done. Inspired action. People realize that they can't wait to get started when talking about inspired action. Once they've done that, work just pours in. They are in the zone, and the thoughts are flowing freely. People are on the right track with the universe. Time goes by, and it's all too simple to lose track of it. People are feeling energized, invigorated, and excited. They are really productive, and it doesn't feel like getting tired. They also have feelings of contentment and pleasure. More prosperity and luck will come their way. It appears as if the human soul is driving the action. The inspired activity is bringing one closer to the objectives. It frequently leads to the critical step as well. People's action is always motivated by a certain objective or intention. It isn't doing something to keep people occupied. It is not always pleasant to take inspired action. It might look frightening and force people to step outside of their comfort zone. It isn't always enjoyable or straightforward. However, 
Once people have taken inspired action and overcome the inherent fear, they will feel happy. They will eventually know that they are on the right course. At the end of the day, one is still energized. Neutral Action Neutral action is characterized by a lack of emotion. It appears to be routine or even dull. Neutral action, which is frequently repeated, it maintains the status quo. People are acting because it's expected of them, and no one questions it. It is as though someone operating on autopilot. Staying alive necessitates neutral action. Working, doing housework, cooking, and dining are all essential for human survival. These are an integral part of neutral action. Most of the neutral actions become successful habits. Regular exercise, monthly savings, and healthy meal preparation are just a few examples. Over time, these acts add up to provide people with a stunning physique, excellent health, and secure economic solidarity. Neutral actions might occasionally serve as a springboard for more inspired action. People do something seemingly insignificant, and it leads to the ultimate exciting adventure. It has a significant role to play and is necessary for long-term success. Forced Action People's mind is the origin of forced action. The rational intellect is in full swing. It is the action based on what people believe to be attainable. A negative feeling or apprehension is frequently accompanied forced action. A threat of failure, a lack of self-confidence, or a fear of rejection constitutes forced action. People have a sense of being out of sync with the universe. It's as though they are ascending a hill. Instead of letting things happen, people are anxious to figure out what is going on. People feel worried, uncomfortable, or exhausted if they force themselves to do something. They will feel as if their life is not progressing in the way they intend. When they force themselves to accomplish something, they find many hurdles. These are all signs that one is being forced to act. The remedy is to take a pause and refresh, after which these activities will feel more natural or even inspired. The Ways to Take More Inspired Actions When people get an inspired idea, the optimum time to act follows suit. People want to act when the situation is interesting and the concept excites them. The more they wait, the less motivated they will be to do it. With time, inspiration fades. If one waits for a year, he will be less inspired. The concept will seem less original, the enthusiasm will wane, and he will be less excited. It is simple to analyze the notion with human rational thinking and come up with reasons why it won't work if people don't act right away. One should always keep in mind that inspiration originates from the soul, not the head. Taking immediate action keeps the emotional fires alive. It boosts people's motivation and excitement. As a result, people automatically take more inspired action in the future. It assists them in aligning themselves with divine moments and capturing the amazing energy that comes with taking inspired action. Not every brilliant concept will pan out. As a result, the sooner people act, the faster they will know whether it will work or not. One of the reasons successful people accomplish so much is that they fail frequently and quickly. However, one should make certain that his brilliant concept is not wasted or involves an intolerable level of risk. Another good reason to act now is that the timing will never be ideal. Many people wait for the ideal moment to act, rather than acting now and reaping the benefits sooner. It might be uneasy to take inspired action in the first place. It may be necessary to step outside the comfort zone at times. This demonstrates that people are serious about taking the next step. One may have to wait a long time until he is motivated to act. There are, however, steps people can take right now to get inspired, focused, and willing to act. For 15 minutes, one should do whatever he wants or see what occurs. Most of the time, taking action boosts people's inspiration and motivation. 
Also, one should reconnect with the inner self and ask why it is so that he is not feeling motivated anymore. What are people's motivations for taking this route? If people are trying to lose weight, they should focus on the final goal and analyze why it's so essential. If people are starting a business, they should find a reason for doing it and the long-term rewards. When people are getting exhausted or overworked, it's difficult to feel motivated. They should take some time to rest, heal, and participate in other exciting things that will help recharge and restore motivation. Getting out in nature is an excellent method to accomplish this. One can establish a positive emotional state by reading inspiring literature or watching motivational films. They can rekindle the inspiration that has always existed within the self. Besides, people may look for other people who have accomplished the inspired actions. People should listen to their experiences to learn how they have overcome the same challenges that they are currently facing. The most crucial step in realizing one's goals, objectives, and desires is to take action. The most effective and joyful action is inspired action. But one should not wait for inspiration to strike. One must take action and inspiration will follow. If it doesn't, or if the activity feels forced, one should take a step back and consider another option. To make one's idea a reality, the law of attraction requires typically one to take some type of action. The action people desire to take is one that they have been inspired to take. It could be something as simple as purchasing a book, speaking on the phone, or taking a different route home from the workplace. An inspired action is not the same as a strategy. It's not something people plan ahead of time and write out a list of actions to take to make their dream a reality. It is possible that sticking to such a plan won't get them anywhere. It's also possible that clinging to the strategy will be difficult. But the show must go on despite a host of hurdles to come in the way. One of the reasons people think that miracles do occur is because of inspired action. It is the reason why some people accomplish things better than others. Most individuals do not believe attaining every goal is possible. The elements of an inspired action are responsible for some of history's most significant breakthroughs. The persons taking inspired action may not realize what they are doing at a given point in time. As a result, they will not attain their objectives. Now, how do people go about adopting inspired action on purpose? To understand how and why inspired action works, one should start with an intense look at oneself. To begin with, a person is made up of three components, mind, body, and soul. The way one looks at it, people are in the real world with the ground realities of doing conceivable things with their physical form. The human soul is a part of the universe's all-inclusive energy. It connects all things and keeps them flowing freely. The human mind is the link between the human spirit and the universal power. To take inspired action, one should be clear about one's objective. The ideal way is to write down the future achievements in the present conditions. The next step is to focus on individual goals, explain the same to close compatriots, and visualize it frequently. By doing so, the intent slowly moves to the spiritual part of the human body. People must understand that the human body is free-flowing energy that can feel everything and move all around it. The said energy may take its course, and the responsibility to bring human desires into life as quickly as possible once it clearly understands human goals. It has the quickest route to do so, and the path it takes may be unclear to an ordinary human being, as they cannot pick out what is happening. Notifications and alerts will then be transmitted down to mankind, which may or may not be evident. They may show up in the shape of lines of a poem, lyrics in a song that pop out, a chance communication, or a coincidence. They will definitely appear, and one must be prepared. 
It is an individual responsibility to follow up on these intuitive instructions, even if they don't make sense at the moment. If one can't find the path, one should remember that he must trust his gut feelings to continue the inquest. Amazing things can happen with the support of inner power. The key to these is the intensity and simplicity of connectivity between the human mind, body, and spirituality. The better the linkage is, the easier it will operate. One needs to spend more peaceful time enhancing these internal routes to communication. It can include meditating, relaxing, or anything else that requires people to take a break. These things will help achieve clarity on the intuitive pushes and the intentions will be loud and clear. It is all really simple, yet it has a lot of strength.